So the first question I would want to ask you is why did you pick this school? Yeah, I mainly chose the school for the academic programs it has to offer here. Okay. Um, the tuition is kind of high because it is a private school. However, you also get the benefit of having teachers that are more focused, having free tutoring, having a lot of benefits. There's coaches everywhere around here. A lot of success coaches, including ones in res life. There are people for commuting specifically. So you get a lot of uh, resources that are available to you for that cost that you're paying for the school. And that's kind of what attracted me most. Um, on top of that, it's in a city environment. I love the city. I come from Long Island, so coming from a suburban, suburban area, uh, I prefer the urban area. I prefer being in a more populated environment. It, it kind of helps me stay focused, stay sharp. Okay, nice. Now, uh, I noticed that, you know, trying to get into the school, right, you have to show identification and you have to make sure that you go through the gate. Correct. Is that a little bit, since you're from the city, you already know that security is a major issue. Do you think that that would take away from other students wanting to come here to LIU? Absolutely not. I think if anything, that's more of a reason to come here because a lot of people have asked me, you know, how do you live in Brooklyn? Because they feel they have like this kind of uh, premeditated like notion that Brooklyn is, uh, you know, synonymous with violence. And the thing is that in this specific part of Brooklyn, if you look around, I mean, the entire campus is gated and there's only one way to get in and that's through, you know, seeing the security guard validating that you go to the school or you're here to visit for you know specific reason yeah. and that way you can enter and most of the times you know I'm a, I'm a senior at the school now I don't have to show ID I just walk in the security guards all know me they're all cool and you know this area of Brooklyn is so up and coming you look around you go look from Manhattan all the way west out and it's just this expansion you see buildings like I'm about to go up to the rooftop in one of these buildings to hang out there because I don't want to drive in rush hour right now going back and, I, and when you look on the rooftop, you look at Manhattan, and then you look at the bridge down to Manhattan, you go down to Flatbush, and you'll see it's just being colonized with more skyscrapers as you go left. Yeah. And this is right in the center of it all. So this is a very up-and-coming area, and you know, the, I, I feel like the security that they have here is just necessary, and it's not, going, it's not doing it over the top at all. Nice. You know? yeah. Campus is open 24 hours a day, so it's always, you, know, you don't have like, it's never like a curfew or anything like that. You're always free to go out whenever you want, come back in whenever you want. And it's easy, it's, easy. it's never, never, never an issue. I really appreciate that articulated answer that you gave. But, I mean, it just pretty much summed up everything. Um, I guess I would just find final question. Um, what job did you see getting with the degree that you chose since you were a senior? Yeah, well, I definitely changed my major a few times, as most college students do. I think the average time is like nine times. Uh, I changed my major. Like, I had thoughts about it several times. But officially changing my major, I changed it twice. And uh, I initially came here for a pharmacy degree. However, I changed that to physical therapy, to occupational therapy, because the, cur the course load was a little too hard. Sometimes I had bad professors. Sometimes I didn't agree with the way they were teaching. Whatever the issue was, I changed it a few times. Now I'm looking into more PR and more HR relations. It's just I feel that way. It's uh, that's where I'm better, like fit fitted. I definitely have to go through the core, go into chemistry, and learn those science classes to learn that I'm more of a social science person. However, I'm also taking I'm doing a double major right now in HR PR and uh, public relations basically communications taking a bunch of speech classes just learning that end of the bit just because I'm applying to some firms where I'm gonna be needing these like degrees they're not they're not like bachelor's degrees mostly they're just associates take a few credits but I guess you could say the primary degree I'd be getting is for OT which is occupational therapy and that's another year and a half and then uh, I can choose to practice that or if I get hired at a firm where I would be doing something more communications related, I would probably go choose with that because I feel it's it's just better off. I'd be happier in that field. It has really nothing to do with money or anything. But yeah, you'd be making more money there as well and I just feel that uh, that's where I'd be happier. That's awesome. Hey, I really appreciate what yeah, no your problem. name. Farhan. Farhan.